द क्वेश्चन इज वाई डू वी हैव सो मैनी एडिशन ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस इंस्टॉल ऑन द सेम सिस्टम आई विल गो डू द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ माई कंप्यूटर इट इज़ रिटर्न देयर सिस्टम टाइप सिक्सटी फोर बेट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एक्स सिक्सटी फोर बेस्ड प्रोसेसर एंड इवन द देर आर सो मैनी एडिशन ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस विच यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर नो आई रीड दम आउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल सी प्लस प्लस दिस इज कंट्रोल पैनल एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर आई एम इन द कंट्रोल पैनल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल सी प्लस प्लस 2010 x64 redistributable microsoft visual c++ 2010 x6 x86 x86 is a 32 bit now this is interesting because even though my processor is 64 bit processor i am using uh, 32 bit c++ microsoft visual c++ 2013 redistributable x64 microsoft visual c++ 2013 redistributable x86 microsoft visual c++ 2015 2019 redistributable x64 microsoft visual c++ 2017 redistributable x86 again it comes down to 32 bit processor interestingly this is a 64 bit processor but even then uh, uh, i am using 32 bit it is a 64 i am repeating it it is a 32 bit compiler which is running on a 64 bit hardware microsoft visual studio 2010 tools for office run time uh, now i will also show you all the programs which i have installed on my system i have got uh, java sc jdk i'll call it i have got mysql uh, by oracle even this is uh, oracle java only uh, these are the programs which i have installed now the question is the same system has got so many c++ because i am using different type of applications some kind of application can ask for a c++ version which was written in 2010 some application can ask for an older version of c++ the compiler of that c++ can be in 2013 some uh, application can ask for a compiler or a library or a class or an inbuilt function inbuilt library or inbuilt class of of c++ which was created in 2017 mind you there are different types of vendors of c++ in the market oracle c++ eclipse c++ genie c++ gnu c++ it is also called g++ uh, microsoft c++ it is also called microsoft visual c++ intel c++ but interestingly all the compilers which i have are from microsoft only microsoft c++ is also called microsoft visual c++ and in 99% of the cases the code which you write in one type of c++ will run on another kind of c++ you will only have problems in 1% of the cases let us assume that i am running some sort of a game like need for speed or counter strike or fifa or whatever i am playing any 3d game so that game can need some c++ compiler which i may or may not have so that compiler will come with the game and it will automatically get installed once i install that game same is the case with different type of applications it can be some sort of ide integrated development environment it can be some sort of office there can be different types of offices offices by uh, gnu community office by uh, third party apps office by microsoft there can be different type of applications which i am maybe installing i can be installing different type of uh, uh, browsers also so uh, the different type of softwares do need their base programming language in which they were created if a program was written in java okay you can create a binary file you can uh, create a .exe with it but uh, sometimes that may not be the best solution sometimes the best solution may be to just simply install the java compiler and execute it so this is the story which i am trying to tell that before an application is installed if that application is written in microsoft c++ then it will first of all check before installing that whether the microsoft visual c++ is there on the system or not otherwise it will install it now the question is can i uninstall it yes i can uninstall uh, i have got uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, uh, if i'll uninstall it then my application will stop working i'll uh, click on uninstall and here it goes i am uninstalling it now the specific application which is connected to it will not work but it is always recommended uh, that you uh, avoid any sort of uninstalling 
because they consume somewhere around 100 megabytes so if i am taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is just consuming somewhere around 600 megabytes of space now let us check how much space it is consuming okay size is uh, somewhere around as you can see 53 138 32.4 22.2 20.5 17.1 so uh, it can make other type of apps non functional so it is better that you keep it in the system thanks a lot